Okay, so in this how to Monday, we're going to talk about our kitchen. Uh, so you're going to see uh, what it looks like, how we put things away, how we do the washing up and so on and so forth. So uh, we have already washed dishes. So before we put them away, we're going to show you a little bit how things go and what we have to kind of organize. We do have a lot of space. I think we can improve a little bit. We're still not completely uh, all 100% with what we can do and the type of thing that exists to organize these things. Uh, uh, you know, in in a smaller space, all the stuff that we have. Um, but so far, it works pretty well with us. So here we basically have like food stuff and you know things that we use often that I kind of need. You know, when like that need to be close to the kitchen. Uh, so it's just you know things like salt and pepper and all the breakfast stuff and sugar and and all this kind of thing. Uh, and then the rest of the food is you know mostly uh, outside and we just get out what we need sort of more on a daily or weekly basis so that we don't have too many things here because this is limited in weight and we don't you know we don't want too many things here uh, so what we have here we have a drawer where we have all the cutlery so that's good and then we also keep a few other things in there uh, under here we have uh, all the plates and uh, any sort of tableware so we have uh, really nice cups that actually fit really well for the for the RV there's four and then we have little plates and we have our plates that are kind of like stacked up there here we have uh, wine glasses that well, actually there's one out there but we keep them in the box because otherwise they move and it might break and uh, over here we have a, a little uh, organized i don't know if you can see that so this is actually there's a plastic i'm going to remove the, the kettle like here there's a little plastic area and you kind of yank the plates in there uh so it goes all the way so these really don't move and that's very good and we just we just only found one set um i would like to find a, a bigger one for the bigger plates but there wasn't one in the store so for now we're doing this and here is where we have all our pots and pans and various things we keep bottles we keep our you know whiskey and stuff like that so that's that's how we have all the stuff for the kitchen okay uh so we're gonna show you uh how we work with the the sort of cooking area the burners um here we have this which we leave covered all the time and we like to have it kind of uh, you know clean and with nothing on when we're stopped uh, and then in, in case we need to go that way, we don't really have things on the top. The only thing that we keep here usually is this, our big container of, of uh, water. And when we travel, we tend to put it down there, but it's not normally full. We try to keep it as full as possible and it's, it's heavy, so we leave it there. Um, but anyway, so let's go back to the burner. So we have a little glass cover. Okay. Uh, here, these are things that are supposed to be to kind of help like when the spitting. Uh, we don't use it too much because the they you know we don't actually it doesn't happen too much, and we have three burners that are all the same size and they're actually it's actually quite big if I can like if I put my arm around it it gives you a, an idea of the size, and so a few things to learn the obviously you're gonna use cylinders because usually you use pans and things like that so. Uh, one thing that I've noticed for this is one of our uh, bigger saucepans and if I need to put a lid on it I've noticed that this is the burner that I should use because if I put it there uh, the angle to go on the burner is not as good and then the lid doesn't really fit so that's one thing that I learned by you know using it so I would tend to like tonight we cooked something we warmed it up we put it there and that way my lid fits and I have a bigger lid because I have another uh, pan that's bigger that's actually this size that we use um, so that's why the lid is so big because we could have a smaller lid but uh, this actually works really well um, here I would put for instance if I need the, the um, uh, kettle I would put it there and then you have space for another small pan uh, if I wanted to do all like the the two or three biggest things so if i had this uh i have also a pressure cooker that's a bit bigger and another pan it wouldn't fit together but i have cooked before like sometimes for breakfast we we warm up milk uh we do water or coffee and then i make eggs and i can do all that at the same time so you know our burners are pretty good and also to gain space what we have for the pans 
uh, and it works for all of them we have i mean this you know this is not if you go to any shop you'll see them but uh, obviously this is much easier to uh store than uh other pans that have the handle so this we have one handle for all of the pans and you just put it there you clip it and sorry about the noise and you have that and then when you finish with it you just remove it and you put it in the drawer <laughs> okay so that's that okay so on the other side of the burners we have our little sink uh, and so also it has a glass cover and here we keep normally when we try all the sponge and all that and actually today we stopped to make a sandwich and uh, so uh, there's a knife that normally isn't there uh, but we had a quick stop and uh, we obviously didn't want to do the washing up right away so uh, the waste design is quite cool there's a little um, uh, drying what is it called um, it's like a drainer right. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you know right and so this actually um, I also use it sometimes to cook and to cut like it's kind of my cutting board as well a little bit uh, but you know technically you just put it there and you can when you wash the dishes you can put it here uh, so this is our sink and we just uh, here we have water obviously hot water and cold water and the uh, tap moves completely out so that we can close it so um there's quite a bit of space uh if we need more space we move the the bottle so that you know you can cook if you want to cook but it does really uh to cook and to uh when you're like warming things up there's enough space to like put things down and prepare and then to do the washing up it's actually quite a good space we normally use a little uh, basin on the side too so that we have both and when we have a, a water point near where we are like here a lot of the time we use some of the water from outside so that we let the dishes soak in that and then we finish here uh, where we can have hot water if there isn't um, if there's only cold water outside or something like that so that's our little um, kitchen area with the sink all right, after we eat and everything, the, we have to do the dishes. Uh, we are lucky that in this location, you have some water outside. It's not potable water, but it's water that you can use for washing things and so on. Uh, normally what I do, uh, we have this that is, uh, it can, you know, it can, it's uh, retractable, you know, so it, it doesn't take that much space. And then what I do is I put a little bit of soap and then I just in this in this case I just use this water here you know I already put some so I'm just adding a little bit and that helped to do maybe the dishes a little bit faster inside we're gonna see inside and uh, that's safe also from the water from the RV because the RV overall and I had mentioned this in other videos it's around 120 liters so that's why you know I try to take advantage of the places that we take if they offer our water to do these type of things, okay? All right, since we don't have dishwasher, uh, basically it's, uh, I'm the human dishwasher, and you guys saw how I put water in the bucket or this type of bucket that are very convenient. And uh, what I did is just to not get you bored, you know, I, I, I did the washing already, but I put that water here with soap. I uh, uh, close this, you know, and then just wash them, rinse them with the water, with our water, and then put them back. And then uh, this here I was showing before, you know, this is convenient because the water comes, it's, it's like a rack, like a drying rack. And uh, it's already done. I put it here because they're big pieces. And anyway, I'm gonna be drying them and put them away properly because of the amount uh, of things that we we can allow to be here just to keep it clean. It to be kept clean. I'm sorry to keep clean. To keep clean, and at least you know one time a day. You know because sometimes if it's too little, what we use of things, there's not really a need to wash right away because of the conservation of water but we just plan so we can do it at least one time and it's clean you know so we put it in the bucket or something and and just like you saw the procedure before and then now you know i can do the washing out oh, the drying i'm sorry i'm putting it away all right so it doesn't matter what order but we're finished and i'm just going to show you 
I wanted to show you how this, and, and many people maybe have this type, you know, that it's like this, and you can just put it like this, take less space. So I, I don't know many of you, and it's something that you can find in many places, you know. Uh, then this, see, move this to the side. Normally, uh, this here, put it on the side here, or it can be blocked, but normally I leave it for now open because we reuse it. And it's put in a position, this is put in a position, so this can be closed, okay? And you see, and this also can move. Now we have the sponge the also. Sponge. And uh, the sponge, oh, actually, this one, oh, sorry. This one goes here to be dry. Uh, this one, sometimes I leave it for dry or put it here. Depending if we're going to be moving, actually, that's that's part of it, because when we're going to be driving and it's to leave it the most ready, uh, the, the, the leaving the, the RV the most ready to and clean to leave whenever we need to leave. OK, and then this one for now, we leave it down the the area of the shower or something like that. But we find different places to put it. Uh, the other thing I was going to tell you, then when we put it, then this close like this and locks so if you pull the, the and it's the same here okay i put the dishes away and then the same here and like that is not opening everywhere when we are driving okay ciao